So we are here with another haul bit. Again, it's a very small like order bit, but I find this easier. I don't have to like, I don't feel as rushed when I'm running through things. Um, sorry, Nick just texted me. Um, I don't have to run through things. I'm gonna talk for a little quieter in this bit because Bennett is sleeping in his room, which is close to me. So I'm not sure how much he can hear. So this is the little Bob Rewards. I normally don't save those because I don't ever remember to do reward stuff. Um, but let's go through this kit. This was a Glam Planner pre-sale. I had mentioned in my last play with me with Glam Planner, I didn't really love um, like how the spread turned out with this is like the little freebie that comes with it. Again, I don't normally use that one, so I put it in my declutter pile. But um, I mentioned that I don't love like how it comes out like some white space so i'm probably going to use this well i want to use this for the forest fair which i go to every year and i want to um i want to use this art for that just i think it's really pretty and i'll probably be doing a just a white space look because i feel like this really lends itself to that so it does come with the double box which is like the same as this full box here i probably will use the full this full box and just omit the other two fairy girls just because it's like the same exact girl same pose and everything um, and I think that's what I'll probably do. Um, and then it has the glitter headers and then you have the really pretty full box. I like the like bokeh looking things throughout. And I really like the colors. You have your check boxes, you have your extra full boxes here. I like these colors. They remind me of something, but I can't put my finger on it. it Might've been like a kit from last fall. Super pretty. And I love that bottom washi. So this is, I don't remember what it was called. It was like a fairy pre-sale. And the pre-sales do come with, if applicable, the double box and also the glitter header. So I picked that up, uh, I think a month or so, maybe two months ago. So I just got that now. And then I also have an order in, not an order, I have some happy mail from Lauren of Rose Color Days. We are doing a collab washi. This will be in something in her shop soon i will be not i will not be carrying this in my shop so she went ahead and because it does also feature my bow as well as hers she sent me five rolls of it to have for my personal collection i have some really cool collab wash coming out if you guys didn't know i do a lot of collabs with marg of once more with love for washi and i have another collab with a couple of other people coming out which i'm really excited about so i'm gonna go ahead and show you this gorgeous washi it is so pretty actually let me just bring it up to you it's a really pretty red color like a blood red with really pretty champagne light gold looking foil with mine and lauren's bow so let me see if it'll zoom there you go it's super pretty and I love it so much. I just think it's super cute and I wanted to do a washi collab with Lauren. So I was really excited to do this. So I do have five rolls of that for my collection. Then she also sent me some journaling cards. So she sent me April in hollow. I'm actually going to add this to my current setup, I think. March in hollow, May in hollow. And this one, which is like a girl boss type card in hollow as well as a eyelashes card in hollow super cute so thank you lauren super excited about this collab definitely follow lauren at rose color days on her instagram for more information about this collab and when you can get your hands on it this haul is going way faster than i thought it would last but not least i do have some fox and cactus stuff so let me go ahead and show you guys what i have in here so the first thing I have is this little freebie here, which is the February freebie. I feel like I might have ordered this in March, but I'm not sure. So this is super cute though. I'll definitely use these. Then she brought back her polka dot. Well, actually I'll show you the freebies first. So I don't remember what I ordered. I feel like I might have ordered these, but I'm not totally sure. So just like a little thank you card. And I like this. It says hip hip hooray old AF, which I think is super funny. I feel like something just dripped on me from above. Weird. But I thought this was really, really cute. And I, I'm going to save these. And I think I'm going to put them on Kirsten and Brian's spread since they have cats. I think that'd be really cute. Then there is the Polka Dot Girls. So I did... Actually, I don't even know. I never know like what I ordered. Oh, I have a whole sheet of those. Cool. Um, 
I guess I ordered these. I never, I really don't ever remember what I ordered. So these are the polka dot girls. I always get the medium skin tone in all of the girls, mostly because I think the medium skin tone is, I think her name is Lily possibly you just check when you're ordering but I like that her normal like clothing colorway is white and I like that whenever she does the polka dot girls that her hair is pink the other one is like teal which I feel like is kind of hard to match with kids and then purple which is also I think hard to match with kids but I feel like this pink is like a pretty neutral kind of pink and I like the polka dots are black so it is very just like a neutral color scheme so I did get one of the laptops one of the emoji type things one of the travel ones Mostly because I'm running low on the travel stickers. And then I also got the workout ones. I haven't been at working out at all in March. It is the 18th. I actually just texted Amanda today and was like, I haven't been to the gym yet in March, which is like really, really disappointing. But I don't also like didn't realize 18 days have happened in March. Just seems wild. Then I got these old AF cats. Again, I want to use them for people who have cats for their birthday. So they'd be really funny. And then I got this little birthday sheet just to mark birthdays. I don't even mark that many birthdays. Like, I have so many nieces and nephews' birthdays that I could mark in my planner. Honestly, I'm, like, horrible at sending birthday cards. And I feel, like, bad if I, like, forget one person's birthday and then send it out late. And then by then, it's, like, two other people's birthdays. So I'm just, like, really bad at it. And then I also got the little birthday guys, which I think are really funny. Nick probably wishes he had this much hair. Nick, whenever he first started dating, had more hair than this, though. But... Um, I thought these were really cute. Most of the guys I know do like are super pale and have brown hair I feel like so they'll work for most of the guys I know that I mark their birthday and Then last but not least I think I might have ordered these these are little journaling cards that actually probably match my setup right now and it's hollow with these super cute pastel hair girls. I even like that there's little hollow like freckles on them which I thought were super cute. So there are two of these and that's where I think it was like you bought them and there was a set of two but these are super nice and they are like little note cards so you could like write a note on them but I'm going to probably keep both of those for myself I think. And then last but not least I have this Busy Bee, Bee um, notepad set. It's not a sticky note, it's just a regular notepad. I don't remember why I bought it but I definitely will use it. I'm always writing notes. I have lists and notes. I have four notepads going right now with different lists just because that's the life I'm living right now so that is everything from Fox and Cactus I know these polka dot girls aren't available but I think these ones might be available um and she also just had red redhead girls available and I know in April she's having gray haired girls which I'm hyped 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 on gray haired girls I'm probably gonna buy so many gray haired girls because I just think gray hair is so pretty I'm actually trying to get like my hair kind of gray so pretty excited about that. So that's everything for this little haul. Hmm. I'm really quite into keeping my desk clean. So I've been doing these really short hauls just when I have a couple things. And I think I actually have two things being delivered today. And I'm like, should I wait? And I'm like, nah, now sounds like a good time. So this is the March mystery kit from Glam Planner. I actually usually know, I think I mentioned last time I was one of her mysteries, I usually know what the theme is prior to getting it just because I am friends with Ellen. She tells me usually like what the themes are. So this is a um, cruise kit. So this is a cruise kit. So you get, this is like her ultimate kit. So I think this is like $30. And for the $30, you get the kit itself and these four extras here. So you do get the double box, some uh, foiled and hollow. I think they're usually always hollow um, overlays. And then you have the glitter and then you have some tall couples. Um, I don't plan on going on a cruise for a very, 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 very long time. And it'll probably, this seems more of like a coupley cruise. And I feel like if I ever went on a cruise, it'd probably be more of like a kid based cruise. Um, so I think I might, like if anybody's ever like I'm going on a cruise, I'll be like, I have a kit for you. Um, so this is the full boxes. Then you have the ombre hair check or the checklist. You have the extra full boxes here. Some functional items and some date covers, half boxes, heart checklists, some deco pieces, weekend banner, some more functional items, little things, icons, um, washi headers, and then you have your bottom washi here as well. So that is the March mystery, which it is a cute kit. I just don't plan on going on a cruise. I'm not like, I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of like the idea of a cruise. I feel like if I ever went on a cruise, it'd probably be like a Disney cruise. So I'd probably use a Disney kit or whenever Bennett's older, we might go on more of like a destination cruise. But I still think we'd find like, it would be less of like a couple-y type thing and more of a kid type event. So I also placed a pretty big order with Toffee Bananas. So it did come with this really cute like packet of die cuts. 
I had this really cute like scallop thing in here. Um, and then it has some die cuts. I think these might be on sticker paper, which would be cool. So they're just like big stickers. I believe they are. They feel like sticker paper, like her sticker paper. So hard with nails. I'm gonna say they are stickers, maybe not, I don't know. Sorry if you hear Ben in the background. He's laying down for kind of like quiet time. I'm gonna say they're stickers. I feel like they are. I'm gonna say they are, but I'm not 100% sure. So these are just a ton of die cuts. She always does like a crazy amount of freebies. Like if you place an order of X amount of dollars, you get a gazillion and a half freebies. Like there's different like, um, there's different tiers, I guess would be the best way. I have this chair, so that's super cute. I feel like these are stickers, but then I'm like, I'm not sure if they're stickers. They might just be paper. I feel like I've never had this much trouble peeling a sticker, so I don't. I'm kind of thinking it's a sticker. I think I'm pretty sure it's a sticker. So anyways, super cute. So that was a freebie. And then also I think all of these with the little pink tops are freebies. And it was like based on like how much you spent. I don't think I spent that much, but I could be mistaken. Oh, this is another one. So, okay, so let's go over the freebies first. So these are like the freebies if you place X amount of orders, like X amount of dollars. And there's like a $5, 20 something, I don't know. She'll post them on her Instagram. So this is a flat lace sampler, which is super cute. I love the little YouTube ones. And then this is just kind of like a pink sampler. I love like the color tone changes in her stuff. Let me see if I have some of her older stuff. I feel like even the pink change. I don't know how you did it. Let's see. No, it's like pretty similar. I do prefer these size sheets. These are huge. I never know really what to do with them, so I got more of them. Um, but she did change her brown hair color girls, and I did mention I was like, I really like the new one, which I'll show you guys. Um, but I'm not going to just like rebuy the whole collection of, see something changed, because I feel like these like lines are darker, so something's like lighter. Maybe the lines are like a, like a charcoal. Um, this is super cute, but she changed her hair color for, and I think even she changed the pink, because see this one's like a, like a purpley pink. Um, Change her hair color for the brunette girl, and I have mostly brunette stickers. And the brunette that I have is like a very red tone brunette, which I have like very like almost like gray -y colored brown hair now. So I like her new one better, but I'm not gonna buy like all a whole new collection. I'm just gonna use up what I have and then repurchase as I run out. So there is donut box. I don't even remember. See, I don't remember purchasing some of these, but I could have. So, who knows? I think she might have been having... Oh, no, she had a coupon code. So, this was... I think it's a, you can use Carol 20 for 20% off. I think somebody commented that on, like, when, on my post or something. Or maybe it was in the comment of her new releases. But I was, like, 20% off shirt and I got, like, an extra freebie. I'll probably actually give this one to Emily just because I don't normally use, like, this color pink hair girls. But I feel like Emily, like, kind of identifies with that color of pink hair. So... Even though she has blue hair, but, you know. So, donut box. There's controllers. How these be cute for, like, future stuff with, like, Nick and Bennett. Stews. Which I thought would be cute just for, like, meals at home. Cakes for birthdays. Workout for going to the gym. Another one. And then this one's the Glam Office. These stickers are huge, but I thought they'd be cute for, like, decorating, like, bigger things. Or if I don't have, like, literally anything going on. And I got one of the YouTube. I got these text bubbles because I thought these were really, really cute. This might be cute for, like, the sidebar. Packing I thought was really cute could also be like if I'm sending out like items to people like rather than just packing. Floral icons I thought these were really cute. These are like super pretty. Um, sticker machine. Laptop. Boards. So that would be cute to say for like a minute goes to school. Burger box. This reminds me of like Shake Shack. Reading cushions. So this is super cute. I've, I've tried to read and then it just kind of failed. Um, allergies which I thought would be good for being sick. Printers. Polaroid just thought it'd be cute for whatever, like maybe putting a character sticker next to it and then writing something in there. And then groceries, which again, these are huge, but sometimes it's nice to have like a variety of bigger stickers. This is like a definitely a half box, like if you have literally nothing going on. And then I guess I ordered these. So there are the pastel spring samplers. This is a huge sampler. Like, her, I feel like her stuff like is such a good value, um, especially when you account for the freebies you get. And then like these samplers are massive. Like, you have so many things, like, maybe you wouldn't use a whole sheet of, like, the RX bottles or a whole sheet of the peanut butter and jelly. It's nice to have just, like, one of them in there for, you know, whenever. This is the large home sampler. I think I might have purchased these because I didn't buy, like, all the individual sheets. She came out with, like, a sheet for every one of these, I think. 
and I got like some of them as sheets but I think I was like I'm not going to use like a whole sheet of peanut butter and jelly or whatever same thing with the home ones I wasn't going to use a whole sheet of all of these and then these were really cute so these are the text box sampler so I think again she had more like sheets of these but I decided just like this would work since I do have like a collection of these larger sheets from her why not but I really like toffee bananas I think that they're like they give a lot of freebies, which is really cool. They usually always have some kind of coupon or sale coming up. They have a decent amount of releases, but not like too many that I get overwhelmed or have to buy like one sheet per release and then it doesn't feel like worth it, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, so overall, I'm just over, like always pleased, always happy. I like the, the, the change of the hair color to this more like kind of like mousier brown. Definitely prefer that. Um, so that's everything for this little portion. So I have two more orders here. One from Sadie's Stickers as well as a very thick order from the Gil Gil the Giving Girl. Which we'll go through that last. So let's go through Sadie's Stickers first. This is a $2 Tuesday order. That should have been it. This is a $2 Tuesday order. So let's go ahead and get into it. I think these are freebies which is super cool. So this is a little um, numbers that are cut into hearts, even though it's on clear paper, so you can't really tell they're hearts. And then you have some bows as well as some hearts there as well. Um, this was a $2 Tuesday order, and I had planned... There's a gnat in here. Why? I feel like I'm getting really pro at that, not going to lie. I... Um, I was gonna do my Easter spread, which I don't know, I'm like kind of lost. I forgot I was gonna do it in gold until, this is like a rookie mistake. I was just washing, okay. Um, until Periwinkle came out. I don't even know what I ordered. Until Periwinkle came out and then I was like, oh dang, like I really love the Periwinkle Hollow. It looks perfect with the Easter kit. So not really sure what I plan on doing as far as my Easter spread, but I did kind of pick up these items in like the thought process that I was going to use I think gold or silver for Easter I feel like really could kind of go either way more leaning towards silver with the Easter kit that I'm using this year so I did pick up the silver and the gold egg header overlays these are super cute again I'm probably gonna use hollow hollow for sure wasn't an option though but um I probably will for sure use hollow I also have the egg overlays the like thicker ones normally I don't use these thick ones um, there wasn't like a thin option, but I'll definitely save these for next year. I'll probably just like save all of these like kind of together because I think of them as little sets. And I also did get the overlays, the like Easter overlays in silver and gold. Again, not sure if I'm going to use the periwinkle. I really want to, so I'm pro. I mean, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I feel like I'm either way, like I really want to use the periwinkle with it, but I also really wanted to use like these items with it. Then I got these. Um, these are kind of just like really pretty floral, um, floral kind of full box overlays. So I got two of them in gold, three in silver, apparently, oh no, three in gold, three in silver, and then two in rose gold. I was like, that's an odd ordering number for me, but that makes more sense. I ordered those and then I really loved these. So I love her like bottom washi overlays and I like Personally, for me, I like the thin one so I can use like a bow and then something else. So I did pick up these. Uh, one of the 15 millimeter strips is the line and then one of the 15 millimeter stripes is the polka dot. I thought these would look really cute paired with the bows. Um, so I got like a weird text message. Um, so I was just like kind of thinking that these would look really, really cute. Um, with the bows or any other overlay. So I did pick up like a bazillion of them. I think at one, two, three, four, five, six. So I probably picked up 10 gold. Because I will run through these fast because there's like two weeks worth on a page. 10 in the silver. And then I picked up, I think, five in the rose gold. Probably should have picked up like three, but. Better safe than sorry. She doesn't really bring back her $2 Tuesday, so I feel like I have, like, big FOMO whenever I'm buying. Um, so I just buy, like, a lot of things. The holiday ones I'm more, like, tame on, I feel like, or things that are a little bit more specific because I'm like, oh, I know exactly, like, how many of these I'm likely to use. And then she came out with these, which are super, super cute. And these are really cute, like, little, like, 
plaid patterns so I did get them in silver and gold I didn't think the rose gold kind of went with these patterns so I wasn't like intrigued to buy it in rose gold so I just got them in silver and gold and I think they're super beautiful I love the colors that she picked so she has like these solid ones that have the blue not solid but like you'll see blue red why am I saying red pink and silver I was like this close to falling asleep and th now I'm here and then I also got this one which kind of has like all of the colors in it with a little bit of green which I think is really pretty um, I feel like this will match a kit. I just can't think of the name of the kit. Um, but it's super cute. So you get two headers, two, like, with bows, two headers with one bow. And then you get some half boxes and some quarter boxes. So I just picked up a couple of those just because I thought they were really cute. And, again, she doesn't really bring back a lot of her items. So I thought I might as well get them now. Hold on. <sighs> So I do have an order from The Giving Girl. I'm not really good at like editing things. I just kind of roll with it. If there's like 10 seconds, it's better than me having to watch the whole haul. So this order is from The Giving Girl. It came in this like gorgeous packaging, which I, Jennifer, I don't even know how time you have time to do this, but I applaud you. It is super, super cute. So I love Jennifer. I got to meet her at PlannerCon. We bonded on a deeper level. She's just so sweet and so real. And I'm just, I'm in love. So let's go ahead and show you guys what I ordered and she also sent me some extras. I'm definitely going to save this because it's so funny. Um, so I don't know what I ordered versus what I got. I think these are, this might be all extras. And then this might be what I ordered. I'm not 100% sure. I think I ordered twice. She might have put both my orders together. I think maybe. Yeah, I think she put both my orders together. I don't know. I feel like a lunatic that I ordered this much stuff and then I also got an oops bag because I thought that'd be fun or maybe she put it in here either which way I'm excited to go through this I think I might have ordered it so let's go through the extras first so there was a little washi card in here which is super cute it has little um stars and moons it says the giving girl on the bottom which is super cute and there's this here which looks like a sampler this is like super detailed it looks like something that you can kind of like put in a pocket but it also has like seven um header overlays which makes it like functional same thing here it kind of looks like something you'd put in like a pocket but it has some butterflies on it which are super like decorative and then there's also a little sticky note here which is gold foil super pretty then she sent me some eggs her stuff is on a like premium matte paper um so this is a little gold egg which is really cute definitely use that for whenever we do breakfast or something and then I did order a bunch of Hobonichi stuff which at right now I'm not like using my Hobonichi I know I go in and out of it like real fast but um I was just I I, don't, I bought it I'm going to use it so it works so these are super cute so this is a purple kit her kits are super cute they're very like simple but I feel like you could pull in a lot of things um so you have I'm just trying to look so you have a little heart you have some flags with the bows you have some little like it's kind of hard because they're all like on solid paper but they're little they're so cute and these little cutout boxes little um bows and you have some hearts you have some checklists you have the weekly sidebar and then you have some strips and then you have some little icons and so you have a lot of stuff on here and i got these i think she sent in antique orchid and they are in silver rose gold and gold she sent me these little poop stickers which i remember viv hauling and laughing about for half an hour it was so funny i was like literally cracking up because viv was cracking up so there is a like classic poop with gold and then a kind of like pastel poop with um gold as well which is super cute and then these are lilac mist so they're i think they're kind of white oh no i guess they're a little like of a purpley white um, so super cute again in silver, gold, and rose gold. Then I let's go through the rest of the stuff that's on regular paper. So I picked up a bunch of these like sidebars because I figured if I was going to do the Hobonichi, which I still might in the future, I have like an idea of something that I want to use it for. Um, I can use these. So I got a bunch of them. I this one's in sea glass in rose gold, sea glass in gold, sea glass in silver. So like you could kind of just use these as like. The sidebar and then pull in items or like just use like washi and stuff like that so i got um i can't read that sakura maybe and gold rose gold and silver and then i got the peach fizz in silver rose gold and gold 
her marble, which is kind of like a bluer tone marble, in silver, rose gold, and gold. And then Dust Bunny in silver, gold, and rose gold. Cotton Candy in rose gold, gold, and silver. I don't know if I ordered all these or she threw some in, so thanks if you did throw them in. Because these are super, I like this one a lot. Cashmere in gold, silver, and then, um, I have no idea what this is. Barrier? Barrier, maybe? This is really pretty, though. It's very, like, icy. And silver, rose gold, and gold. And then here's another one of those kind of, like, functional samplers in blush pink. Super, super cute. I like these a lot. So that is all of the, like, white paper stuff. And then I did pick up some of her clear paper stuff. So she had these really cute, like, they're kind of like banners. They're like two box banners and then one box banners and then kind of like mini banners there. So you could kind of like, I would kind of like put them like if a full box. I don't know, maybe it's like a full box. If it was like a full box, I'd kind of like put like maybe one that way and then one like dripping this way. I think it, there's a lot of fun things you could do with these. So I got two in gold, two in silver, and then one in rose gold. And then kind of like thinking that would look really pretty in the same spread. I got some of these little like star banners. So I got two in silver, two in gold, and two in rose gold. And these are like individually cut little star banners. So you can kind of decorate like many full boxes with them. So I thought those were really cute. And would look really cute paired with these. Then I picked up some of these super cute little checklists. And these would go great in a Hobonichi. I think that's what they're sized for in gold, silver, and rose gold. And you get a ton on this sheet. Like, literally a ton. And then last but not least, a bazillion bows. A bazillion. A bazillion, a bazillion, a bazillion. There's a bazillion on here. Little individually cut bows in silver, gold, and rose gold. And then I did get an oops pack just because I kind of wanted to just get some stuff. I assume that usually oops in any shop isn't, like, bad. Normally, I don't care. Um, ooh, that's really pretty. Okay, so I got another one of these guys. I don't, I don't really, I'm not good at finding oopses. Everyone at work is, I'm not. And then there's like a little freebie here with little dragonflies. And then this one, it just has like a little like wrinkle, which I personally couldn't care. Little, um, butterfly little dividers. And then these are super cute. These are like the bow corners and then there are some of these like square boxes that are super cute these always remind me of Jacenia. i feel like Jacenia would use something like that and these are some butterfly full box overlays some individually cut bows in rose gold some paper clips this is like a functional kind of sampler looking thing some bow dividers, dividers is the word I was looking for, some more individually cut bows. I really can't see a lot that's wrong with these. Maybe like on a little bit of it, but not really, like maybe a couple of stickers. And then there's rose gold bows. Here are some scalloped headers in silver. Some more scalloped headers in silver in a different colorway. Some gold headers. Some fairy light Full boxes in rose gold. This is, this is a pretty good deal. Definitely pick up a oops bag next time you order from the Giving Girl. This is headers, and then here are some little mini deco stars, which are super cute. I think I got Bubba was crying, but Nick got him. So these are little star decos. I think I had these, but I don't know for what. I think it might have been in the advent. And then this is the butterflies, super cute. This looks like a sampler. So I got that one in silver and rose gold. And then these are, oh crap. Oh cool, so these are bottom washi. Like thick bottom washi, these are super cute. And then it looks like you get like seven headers and then an extra little strip. That's pretty cool. And the stars as well as the, um, what's this called, hearts. So these are like thick bottom washi strips. Love those. So I thought, think the the Misfit pack was really worth it. There wasn't really any crazy Misfits TBH. Um, I feel like most shops like don't sell like wild Misfits. I mean, don't quote me, but like 
most shops that I think I'd buy one from. I don't think that there'd be anything crazy in it. So that is, oh, that's cute. This had a little shop schedule on the back. That's adorable. Okay, so that's everything that I got from The Giving Girl. Definitely go check her out. Follow her on Instagram. She is a sweet girl. She, she's one of the best. So that is everything. And also Sadie stickers, of course. You guys you guys know I like Sadie stickers. I got all the orders. So that's everything for this little portion. So I'm hauling this solely because I want to use some of the products. So I have a Sadie sticker order in. I'm assuming this was a freebie. These are gold bow header overlays, which I do use these quite a lot from her shop, so I'm really excited to have those. Then I did pick up some of these like mini Hobo Weeks little samplers, and they are kind of like functional samplers. So I did pick up, it looks like, five of the gold. So on here you have some scripts up top, some like strips, which are super cute. I'm sure you can totally like do something really cute with these in your regular planner as well. You have some bow dividers and then some bow checklists, and I picked up a bunch of those in gold. And then I also picked up a bunch in silver, super pretty. And then I picked up two in rose gold. Then I also picked up some of her kits, which are super cute. She came out with a bunch and I just think they're so pretty. For some reason, I picked up two of these. I don't remember picking up two, but it sounds like something I would do. So let me go ahead and show you what comes on these. So you do have a bunch of checklists on the top. You have a strip for the days on the side. You have some strips for the bottom, some bow like kind of washi, some regular looking washi, a weekend banner, some boxes, some flags, and some more flags here. So it's quite an extensive little kit. So this one is kind of like gold and like blues, like comfy colors. This one has pink foil with like flowers. They're all kind of based on kits. She has like, this is I think one of her Valentine's Day kits. This is her like lavender pretty with silver. And then this is like the like beachy type kit. And then this one is just really pretty and golden floral. So I just went ahead and picked these up. I think they're super cute to put in your Hobonichi. I did paint my Hobonichi silver glitter. It's super pretty. It does shed a little bit, but I think like it's like losing its shedding. Like I think it's just gonna like shed like whatever is like loose and then I'll be like good. Cause like if you rub it, it doesn't like come off. But whenever I like drag this on it, I think some of the edge I didn't seal properly. So it does like little bits of it come off. But I also feel like it's a super fine glitter. So like it doesn't bother me as much as like chunky glitter everywhere. Just cause it looks more like dust, the glitter that I used. But um, it's super cute. But yeah, you can just put your little kits in here and be good to go. So I am just gonna put this in here. Um, I just ate a little bite, they're so good. Um, so this is the Simplicity Simply Gilded box. I really love the look of this box. It reminds me of just like clean linens, fresh cotton, you know. And ooh, let's go ahead and get into it. Super excited about this box. Ooh, cool. Let's go ahead and get into it. I don't save the boxes like I've said. I've tried to become less hoardery as I get older, I guess. And I'm super excited about it. So you get this journaling card here, which just tells you everything that's in it. Um, the back side is blank. So let me go ahead and tell you guys what's in the March 2019 box. So the first things first, there is a pen, um, and this is a really nice weighted pen. It's a Simply Gilded on it. I don't really like, I feel like I am very like pen loyal. I pretty much exclusively use the Energel Slena, Klena, you can get those on jet pens. And I also use this, which is a Yuna style fit in my Hobonichi. But um, I think Amanda took my um, white with gold one, and I feel like this is, was my air This is the same pen, so I'm going to see if she wants it, but it's a really nice, high quality, really heavy pen. Oh, it's so cute. It has a little bow on top. Let me show you guys. That's a sweet little detail. I like that a lot. Um, super cute, and again, really high quality gel pen, which is super awesome. I wonder if you could actually use the gel pen to write on the stickers. I feel like these stickers, you can't write on them with gel pen, but we'll do a couple little tests. Um, we'll get to that at the end. There are some bows in here, which are really pretty sweet pink bows. So you have a little um, clip charm, and then you also have a, well, that's actually, I guess, like a lobster clasp, and then a clip down here in pink. There is also a little market list notepad, which I will for sure use. I am like, I feel like I've figured out from uh, like 
trial and error that I am a list person. They're not sticky notes, they're just regular like lists, but I don't mind because I just write them and throw them away. Um, but this is really sweet. It is foiled, so it's super high quality, premium. Um, the printing is really beautiful. I love that the lines are kind of like they're meant to look like you kind of drew them with a pencil, but they're obviously silver foil. I write with list pads. I have like, look at these. These are some that I have that I'm using right now, and I just go through them. So this one is from Wonton and a Million, and this was one of her Christmas ones. I think this might have been if she has any left on discount. And this is one that actually is like the steam team, and it has lines on it. I love ones with lines, so I especially love this. And then I have this one, which is from my shop which is like a sticky note i think these are all three of these are sticky notes um this one's a sticky note and it has a bunch of little checklists which is kind of like i like really long lists and i have been using these um pretty much all the time so definitely be adding this to the stash and it'll be a really usable one for me i love like i said notepads with lines uh then there is this really cute journaling card which i can see putting in a lot of different setups um I love whenever it's just kind of like a color because then you can match with a lot of things where sometimes a lot of like patterns and stuff don't match a lot. So this just says fresh, simple, and clean in silver foil on a like, I guess this is all kind of like a periwinkle-ish background. Does this actually match my periwinkle? Because that would be pretty cool. My periwinkle is on hollow, but it's pretty close. I think that it would look pretty with the... It's a little, mine's more lower parallel. This one actually, whenever you put this up next to it, it looks a little bit more on like a, a muted blue, I guess. Super pretty though, either way. Oh no. Okay, that all fell, but I'll get that later. So there is that. And then there's also a bracelet. I wore these for a really long time. I just took them off. Just I think I was going on a date and wanted to put on a different bracelet and haven't put them back on yet. But this is the pink Simply Gilded Bow Bracelet. I think Emily, I don't think Emily subscribed, but I am going to ask her if she is subscribed. And if she is not, I'll give this to her because I know she really wanted the pink bracelet because it's super pretty, super beautiful. So I probably will uh, pass this along to her, but it is so pretty. I love the Simply Gilded Bracelets. I have the rose gold, silver, and gold, and I probably will wear them still a lot. And they do bend quite easily, so you can and adjust them to your wrists and this one's a really pretty pink color it's a very good value too um so this is like super heavy like maybe you can hear from the whenever i drop it ready like it's it's like a heavy duty thick weighted metal um and it does come in a really pretty pouch i love this like muted pink color then let's go in to the washi we'll do the stickers last because those are new so the washi does come in a pouch i feel like i have a ton of pouches oh there's a notepad in here Hold on. i think this is one of the last ones with the notepad um which i'm excited about because i don't use these i've been just putting these in bennett's little drawer um and i think that he'll really like you know pulling these out and coloring on the pages so there is a little pocket notepad, but I think she said either this was going to be the last one with the notepad or the next one was going to be the last one with the notepad. And there also is a little pouch. I don't use these. I save some of them for Bubba and then the rest of them I just put in my declutter pile. I went through my pouches recently and I had like 30 pouches and I narrowed it down to I think three or four pouches I was keeping. So I'm pretty proud of that. Then you have the washi. So this is the washi that comes in the subscription and then this is the add-on washi. Um, if you want to add on, there's like another... I think it's like, I actually don't remember how much it costs. I think it's maybe like $7 possibly-ish. Uh, and you add on, it's like a 5 millimeter add-on. And then you get different washies added on to your, added on to your kit. So let's go ahead and go through the uh, washies that I have here. So the kit itself comes with these five normally. So normally you have, um... Normally you have five washies, usually there's like one word one, there's like maybe one with out of foil, and then you have some kind of pattern with something on it, and then this one is usually like your bow set this month. This month she did like a white foil, which doesn't really look like foil, it honestly just looks like white printed, but she had, it said she had a number of small defects with the new foiling on the pink and white bow washi set. We included the silver foil bow, which is this, um, to replace this and gifted you the oops rolls as well, which these are the oops rolls. Um, since the pink and white rolls are oops, they will not be replaced or refunded if 
as they are free as they are a free bonus so just if you notice that your set is misfitting they're not replacing them because this is a freebie which totally makes sense um, and it was really good that it was like a proactive decision to throw in you know these rolls um, so I probably won't be keeping these just because I probably won't use like a white foil bow. But as I've mentioned in other videos where I get subscription boxes or subscriptions with washing them or um, if I order bows, I usually don't keep the 10 millimeter. But this will, um, I think actually, I think almost all of these I think I'm going to be putting in my little de-stash pile just because I don't really see myself using them. But they are super, super pretty and I want them to go to somebody who will use them. But I am for sure keeping um, this one here which is so pretty. This is the um, like the inverted bow which I love these inverted bows. I don't remember if I kept the gold one. If I kept the gold one I'll keep this one too. Um, 10 millimeter. but I love this. I would have honestly bought the whole box just for this bow because I love the inverted bow or in, inverted bow I think they're so pretty I probably should have went through with the rest of them more so you have just like a blue and white plaid I like these I just they're a little bit like I can't think of what the word is but they're very like kind of like country chic um I don't usually keep the word ones just because I don't I don't know they're not my thing and then this is just like a regular floral neither of these have foil or I might have kept them but they are super pretty like I said and I'm sure somebody will really excited to win those in my um I, I think I mentioned I don't know if my my washi my washi declutter will have went up before this but I went through all my washi and tried to be realistic all of the washi that was open went into my declutter bin which is going to go to the de-stash table at the SBC planner party and then I have all of the like unopened washi it's going to go into a giveaway I have washi from Simply Gilded, I'm going to put some of my shop in there. There's some from One Ton in a Million, Once More With Love. I'm um, trying to look over and see. One Ton in a Million. Um, there's some around Fox and Cactus. There's, there's just honestly like a, a mishmash of all different kinds of washi in there. So there will be a nice variety for that. But I love this. Like I said, I would have bought this box just for that. And I also really love the 5 millimeters that came this month. So the 5 millimeters came in the inverted bow design, which again, I would honestly paid this much for this. I honestly like love the inverted bow. Inverted bow, I think it's so 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 pretty. So, let's go ahead and open the stickers. The stickers are on a new paper this month, which munch this month, which is super awesome. We, I got some from Irene whenever I saw her at PlannerCon. She let me like go through the whole sack and I ended up taking like all of them, I feel like. But um I really like it. You guys know every month I mentioned that the paper is not my favorite and now it is on a really nice buttery matte paper. Um, think like wonton in a million stickers or my wiggle it Wednesday like the, the solid ones. These are super cute. Another thing I really like that I just noticed is the white backgrounds on the deco. That's one another thing that I have mentioned that I would prefer but this is super cute. I could definitely see pulling in some other items and doing a full spread. Let me go ahead and do a pen test. We're going to use the pen that comes with the simple like a box. I feel like I heard somewhere that this works, but I'm not 100% sure. So let's go ahead and try it out. So I'm going to give it like two seconds to dry. And I'm also just going to try one of my regular pens. I feel like you have to use a marker, but I'm not totally sure. And then this is just the regular pen that I use all the time. So yeah, you'll have to use a permanent marker on these, but there's plenty of permanent markers out there that you can get. And JK, actually none of these are things that you throw in besides the checklist, but you could use like foil check marks. Like I saw those. I'd be really cute with those. So actually that works pretty well then. That's how I kind of, when I did my wiggle at Wednesday, I mentioned in my last new release video that I kind of designed it to be things that you don't have to write on just because the paper texture, it doesn't really work with a lot of pens besides permanent markers. Um, but these are super cute and I love the boxes. I think they're so sweet so that is really great improvement. I think that um, it definitely makes the box more valuable because I feel like these are way more usable now. Um, I'm, try I'm trying to think of like something else I changed, but I feel like you know this is this is a good place to be at. And then it also came with these super cute little character stickers. If you guys didn't know, Irene is going to be doing some new character stickers. I showed a bunch in my friend's haul. Let me go ahead. I don't know if they'll be out yet by the time that this video comes up. But I showed a bun bunch in my friend's haul from PlannerCon. I think like probably like 10 different designs. The I didn't get these ones though. These are the Juniper XOXO Simplicity. So it kind of looks like they're camping slash gardening. 
um, but she's doing a bunch of different character stickers and they're super cute. They're all like extra, extra foily. I'm not sure if she's only doing gold. I've only seen gold designs, but I hope she does all of the different foils. So I think they're so sweet and I'm super excited to use these. I just think that these are ultra, ultra usable and I could definitely pull these into my spreads. So overall, all this month, I am very, very satisfied with this box. I think that it is definitely worth the monies for it. And especially, like, duh. And look how much washi. I mean, you have to, like, think I paid extra for this. But I think it's a really cute box. I think it's overall extra cohesive. And I do really love the 5mm add-on. Oh, and there's a pen, too. So there's a ton of stuff in here. I really love this box, you guys know. it's. I don't really do any other subscriptions besides the Glam Planner Mystery Kit. Um, so... I, I really, really like it. So I hope you guys like this little portion of the video. I wanted to show you guys these two little orders real quick. I'll just go over the Hobonichi first. So I did order another Hobonichi, and this is the 2019, and it is the April start. I don't think I did a proper unboxing. Last time I ordered one, I ordered my Hobonichis usually on jet pens. The last one I ordered, I think, on eBay or Etsy because they were sold out. Um, the first Hobonichi I actually ordered was in, like, March of 2018 pre-craze um but and it worked really well for me but I feel like I didn't have like a cover for it and it was just kind of like flang -a -lang and around you know what I mean so this is the little package it comes in it does come with like a lot of like really like just random stuff there's like a little like comic and then there's a little map which I actually gave this map to Bubba and he like loves it so there's a little map there's also a little sticky pocket, which I don't think I'm going to use. Um, so this is the Hobonichi Weeks. I got mine in Strawberry Latte. You may be asking, why do you have another one? I do have one right here. I feel like I, like, messed it up. Let me know if you, this is, like, something, I know there's got to be more people out there that are like this besides just me, but I feel like my Erin Condren works for me now because I know what I'm doing and I know what I like. I like to have everything completely filled out the same way, but I feel like the reason why my Erin Condren was kind of like a mess for like two years was because, which hopefully this isn't a two-year mess, it was because I didn't know what worked for me. And I was trying to use it to like pre-plan and ever since I've been using it for memory keeping, it works for me. So I feel like this, I start, whenever I used it back in, last year, I had, I actually think I might have had the pink one, I'm not sure. I feel like I did. Um, but when I used it last year, I used it very functionally. It was pretty much a work planner. I would write all of my new releases over here and then any work tasks over here, which is pretty much what I'm going to use it for. If you guys don't know what my planning style is, which I've mentioned this recently in a plan with me, is I like using my Erin Condren, which looks like this, for memory keeping. So that's putting in stuff after it happens. It's pretty much a scrapbook scrapbook and I love it it I've been doing it for two ish plus years now and I I don't see myself ever stopping um I have my phone calendar and that is synced with Nick and that has all of Nick's activities Bubba's activities and my activities my business trips Nick's friend trips things like that are all in the calendar um like everything like but it's doctor's appointments like um different I don't know like like all, the, all, every family member's stuff you know what I mean or if Nick's parents are going on vacation or whatever and that syncs between the two of us now the stuff in work doesn't need to be synced between me and him but also doesn't need to go in my rewind planner so I need a place for it so whether it's just writing down that I discontinued something on it like this day and I want to make sure that once those orders are complete on that day that I could go through and remove those from stock and things like that there's just a lot of business things that I need to like write down that I don't have like a really a place for I always rip these out but I feel like I tried using stickers in here and I don't feel like let me see if I have a sticker week I don't know if I have anything like important on here not really um, I use stickers in here I'm trying to like pull it but I have a paper clip um, I tried using stickers in here and it just didn't work for me um, it's just too much you know what I mean like I just need a simple um, here's another one I just need a simple little list something along the lines of like this something easy maybe I put a couple stickers in after the fact just to kind of like snazz it up um, I used it this week and it's kind of like really sad like that's what I did this week and I feel like that works for me 
Um, and then here is next week. Just like stuff like it should. This is what it's going to need to be for me for it to work. I can't do like I tried using like a sticker kit. And I just I really love the idea of it. But I don't like I don't know. It just doesn't work. I feel like I hate this paper. Um, it's like yellow and I've heard people call it Bible paper, which I feel like is the best description for it. Um, I've seen some people do like kits for it. I've seen like crazy like sticker kits for it that are just like, you, there's a sticker for like everything and I just can't get down with it. That's what my memory keeping planner for is putting all the stickers in it. This needs to just be my pen and paper. I have my digital, I have my pen and paper, and I have my sticker place. So that's what is working for me. And I know this, it works differently for other people. I know Carolyn has like 16 of these that she uses functionally, which however things work functionally for you is the way that you need to do it. That's how it's gonna work functionally for me. But I like explaining it because I think sometimes like you see things and you you think, and I think the same thing, like I have to have this and I have to do it that way, but that's not the case. Like, you know, if you wanna use your Erin Condren for your functional and you think that works, then that's, that's what you need to do. If you wanna use an hourly, if you wanna use an A6, I have my A6 is like pretty much strictly lists, like to-do lists. I don't really, for some reason, don't like putting like dated things in there for some reason. I just feel like it doesn't work for me. So I did place an order with Irene of Simply Gilded. I did get some freebies in here. So I did get another one of these super cute journaling cards. Then I also got some bow seals. These are also little freebies. I always save these because they are super, super cute. And then um, I did order these. So this was like a bundle, I believe. I don't know if the journaling card was included in the bundle, but I did get these. I don't know if I have them. I have to double check before I open them, but these are the five millimeter. And then these are in the kind, I don't remember what. These are both, I think, collections from past years, I think. And I have to make sure that I don't have them. So they are just like five millimeter packs. This one is all hollow. And then this one has some gold and then a rose gold one. So they're super, super cute. Um, and then I also got her little juniper bundle. I thought this was really cute. I think you might have had like a chance to get one of the pens. So the pen that I got was this one here, which they are gel pens, which are super cute. I have a bunch from Once More With Love and Wonton in a Million. This is a little juniper bunny on top. Then this was what came in the bag. So you did get the little pouch here, which I probably will just see clutter just because I had mentioned in, I think, a previous like part of this haul that I'm trying to cut down my pouches. And then this is what came in it. I don't know. I might have these actually. I don't think I have the juniper floral or this one that has juniper and the bows. And I feel like this one I might have a bunch of, the pink with the gold, but I have to double check the tones. And I'm pretty sure I have this green stripe, but again, I'm going to double check before opening. I do actually really like the stripes. I think they're super cute, and I really love this one. It looks super luxe. I feel like the foil looks extra like like hot stamped, which looks really cool. So those are the washies. I don't really unroll washies for washies. Washi swashers. Washi swashers. That's everything. They're super cute. It also says XOXO Juniper. Pretty pumped that she's doing like little character stickers. And I got some in my friend haul, which I, don't, I think that'll be up by the time that this video is up. Um, and they're super cute, but they come in all different foil colors. So I for sure want to pick those up. And there's a couple different, or I think there was one other like activity Juniper was doing that I didn't get my hands on that I want to grab. So that is everything for this little portion. So this is going to be the end of my haul. I... Actually, if you hear like a little like noise in the background, like a little muffling, I have a baby monitor here because hashtag mom life. Um, Nick is actually away for the weekend. He'll be back by the time you guys see this. Um, and normally when I film, he has the baby monitor, but tonight I just wanted to film this and Bennett, I feel like is in a really good place with his sleep right now. So let's go ahead and get to the bottom of this. This is my, I believe it was the anniversary box for Rose Colored Days. I am super excited about this. You guys know I love Lauren. She's one of my dearest planner friends. We call each other Big Sis and Little Sis just because we love each other so much. I feel like we have a very extra bond and it's just, she's one of my favorite people. So let's go ahead and go through everything that comes in this. Let me go ahead and open this first because here's where all of the cool stuff is too. So it has a little envelope here, which I'll actually probably 
save because she didn't use the seal part so I could totally reuse this envelope which is awesome I could always use like a little bit of a bigger envelope because I feel like you know with cards you always lose the envelope so let's go ahead and get into the papers since those are taking up the most room so it looks like it's kind of like a TN setup but not I mean I guess you get like pretty much almost all the TN kit stuff so this is a really pretty um it's like a light gold, I feel like, kind of like my, uh, like if you have our foil, like that kind of gold color, which I really love. And it has these really pretty uh, floral brush strokes in the back, super cute. And that is on an acetate. And then this is the vellum. So this is a little cupcake vellum. This would be super cute for a birthday or like a celebratory month. This just has a really cool, like, texture on it, which is really pretty. Then you get two of these foil papers. So there's balloons on this side and then that texture on the back. And you get two of each and then you get this one which has the cupcakes with the foil and then the champagne glasses on the back so those are super cute and they look like eight and a half by 11 so you can cut them down to fit whatever you like also from lauren we'll go through like most of lauren's stuff first then i'll go to the contributing shops so also from lauren there are some tab stickers i know a lot of people use these in their hobonichi um they're super cute they are on a little bit of a thicker paper kind of like that like a thicker sticker kind of like the old simply gilded thickness almost and then it has the um, gold on it which is super pretty you definitely want the thickness on these if they're going to be your tabs um then it looks like let me see i'll search for lauren so this is from lauren oh, this is so cute this is a collab with justenia who the planner supposed to get i mean you know I, there's no introduction but i um so lauren like if you have any extras that you want to like toss my way like i won't be mad um because i'm gonna have a like a lot of problems trying to use this um because i'm like should i use it for my birthday should i use it for the planner party should i use it for new year's i'm actually going to text her and be like if you have any extra holla then there's oh my god yes and there's also her handwriting just any you guys know i'm like a, a big fan a big fan um on the journaling cards this one says let's party and then this one says let's life's short wear wear the party dress super cute uh, those are also from Lauren and then I believe this is from Lauren as well and it's just a really cute little pouch with the pink marble which is kind of like the theme is like the pinkier colors. There's also a pen which I'm assuming is from Lauren. Yeah it is. So it has Lauren's um, name engraved on it so it's a pink pen with gold hardware with white barrel which is super cute. Love that. Also from Lauren there is some little sticky notes. I think she said these are a little bit bigger than the Erin Condren box but they're super super cute. Again with that marble and then the gold as well. And then I think the last things that are from Lauren and the rest are contributing shops are the tapes. So it looks like she has, are these the same? Yeah, these are the height of a full box. I kind of don't want to swatch this but I feel like I need to. And there's a bazillion on here, right? So I don't really need a bazillion of them. So let me go ahead and open it and swatch it. So Lauren has done like header overlays before, but I don't think she's done full box overlays and these like rolls. I don't know where I'm going to store these. That's the only kind of like downside. And I think Lauren mentioned that more in a shop um, storage, less in a personal storage, but even personal storage. I don't know where I would store all of these at. This is cool though. Oh, that's neat so this is actually that's not that's the first one i'm assuming because i remember on the first one of the confetti tape too it's shorter just because it's probably the end of the ream so let's go ahead and yeah that's the size we're looking for so you just pull it off and then it is a little full box overlay but it is it is quite big here's a regular roll of washi so it's the same thickness but like super tall but this one is such a cute design it has little bows and then little dots. Definitely going to get some use out of this. If she started coming out with a lot of them, I'm going to need a bigger washi storage area maybe. But there's a gazillion on here and they are super, super cute. I'll go ahead and put it on the back of... I don't have... How is this like the only time that I don't have a million to-do lists like ever? Here's a note. Oh, no, it's kind of ugly. Um, you grab a piece of paper so you can see it. And then I can swatch the header too. So here's a piece of paper. There's like marble on it. Okay. Super cute. And then she also did the header overlays to match. Anybody else use your teeth to open pretty much everything? I know there's lots of people out there that are like, that's horrible. And I'm like, Ugh. the life I live. Oh no. I'll be back. 
It's actually the next morning and instead of a monitor I have annoying dogs outside. But we're almost done so it's okay. So next is this little header. Like I said there's always that like one little sliver of not actual header and then these are header overlays. Super cute. So they match the full boxes. There's also a collab washi which I don't know if I showed in a haul or this haul. I might have. I think I did. But this is a collab washi for me and Lauren which was super fun to do because like I said I love Lauren. And this is like a really deep red with the champagne gold which I love. Again sorry about the dog but you know dogs have to go pee so. Um, super cute it's so early in the morning and when I say so early it's 8 but I was up so late with Bubba because I'm waiting for Nikki to get home then from Studio Signet there are two little charms there is a little um, champagne glass and a little champagne bottle I know it's champagne glass I don't drink then sticker wise there is a little sheet from Clever Gal Crafts which is super cute with the gold and then there's also a little kit and then it is from Paper Dove Shop and it is on premium matte paper and it looks like just a little two page mini kit so you have some full boxes here and then you have a bunch of functional items that have boxes and stuff so super cute and that is everything in Lauren's um, anniversary box which I think was a really well curated box I love it this washi goes so well with these colors <gasps> I'm so excited. So that's everything, and I hope you guys like this video, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!